In the midst of Emily's wedding ceremony, her world came crashing down when a shocking photograph revealed a devastating betrayal, turning what was supposed to be the happiest day of her life into a nightmare. In a world filled with rumors and betrayal, surprising relationships showcase the power of love and trust. On the day of my wedding, I expected nothing but pure bliss and joy. The atmosphere was buzzing with excitement and happiness. The church was filled with stunning flowers. I found myself standing at the altar, just moments away from uttering those two powerful words to the man who had captured my heart. Little did I know that this day was about to take a chilling turn. It was an absolutely flawless experience. Jason, my groom, looked incredibly dashing in his tuxedo. I felt as if I were royalty in my elegant white gown. Our loved ones had come together, eagerly anticipating the joining of our lives. One of the people present was Sarah, who had been friends with Jason since childhood. I had developed a deep sense of admiration and confidence in her. She was a constant source of support for us. Right as the priest was on the verge of prompting us to exchange our vows, our photographer Luke, who is known for his exceptional skills and reputation, abruptly exclaimed, Hold on! The word reverberated through the place, creating a wave of bewilderment and worry. Everyone's attention shifted to Luke, who raised his camera, his complexion noticeably drained. What does it mean? Jason exclaimed, his voice filled with frustration and confusion. Luke glanced anxiously at the crowd before turning his gaze towards me. I have something to share with all of you. It's absolutely vital. He strolled up to the altar and hooked up his camera to a projector. A hush fell over the guests as an image appeared on the large screen. The image captured Jason and Sarah lost in a moment of passionate kiss. The room was filled with gasps and murmurs. I could feel my heart racing and a surge of queasiness washed over me. Jason's complexion turned pale. This, this isn't real, he stammered. Sweetheart, you must trust me. Sarah, amidst the crowd, shared knowing glances with me, aware of what was about to unfold. She looked towards the guests, a look of terror in her eyes. I swear this never happened. So, how would you explain this photo? I asked, my voice filled with uncertainty. Jason extended his hand towards me, a gesture of connection. You have to believe me, he pleaded, his voice filled with desperation. I would never do something like this to you. Whispers began to circulate among the guests, doubt quickly spreading throughout the room. I was overwhelmed, my thoughts racing as I tried to make sense of the situation. Her eyes revealed the undeniable truth, yet the consequences were already set in motion. The guests were already whispering, doubt and suspicion spreading rapidly. I felt a rush of thoughts. However, as I shifted my gaze from the screen, I found myself face to face with an unexpected person, much to the surprise of the guests. How could you? I exclaimed, my voice quivering with a blend of frustration and disappointment. But I wasn't looking at Jason or Sarah. I was looking at my mother-in-law, Evelyn. From the very start, Evelyn had harbored doubts about the wedding. She hinted a lot that it would never happen. Are you sure he's ready for this? She would ask, her tone dripping with doubt. During family dinners, she would casually mention, Weddings have a way of passing by so quickly. Her words always left me feeling uneasy, but I chose to ignore them, hoping they were just innocent remarks. She would often mention Jason's previous romantic partners, commenting, He seems to have had quite a few girlfriends, hasn't he? It's hard to keep track. Whenever we talked about wedding plans, she would let out a sigh and comment, You're really going above and beyond. What if there's a sudden change? It was scary because she was always putting me down, but I tried to stay upbeat because I thought her worries were caused by anxiety. Evelyn's doubts extended beyond mere words. She occasionally overlooked crucial details about the wedding, such as the date or the venue, treating them as if they were of little importance. Oh, when is it again? She would casually wave her hand and say, I just can't keep up. I found her behavior unsettling, but I attributed it to her unique personality. Little did I know her skepticism hid a deeper, more evil motive. Evelyn's face turned into a mask that made her look innocent. What are you talking about, dear? Uh, don't act innocent with me, I snapped. Sarah told me everything. It was a memorable day when Sarah revealed Evelyn's plot to me. It was a few weeks before the wedding, and we sat in my living room, enjoying a cup of tea while discussing the final details. It was as if I was transported to a serene oasis, surrounded by the delicate fragrance of jasmine. In that moment, a sense of calm washed over me, and I couldn't help but feel a deep sense of assurance that everything was aligning perfectly. Sarah appeared anxious, her fingers restlessly toying with the handle of her cup. She paused for a moment, gathering her thoughts before finally speaking up. 
There's something important that I have to share with you, she said with a deep breath. I looked up, taken aback by the gravity in her voice. What's up, Sarah? She paused, her gaze fixed on the cup of tea in front of her. It's about your future mother-in-law, Evelyn. She came up to me with a favor to ask. I felt a sudden rush of excitement. What sort of request? She asked me to kiss Jason, Sarah admitted, her voice barely audible. She warned me that if I carried out the action and ensured you witnessed it, she would ensure that the wedding never took place. She believes I am a better match for him. She let out a heavy sigh, her eyes welling up with tears. I didn't want to mess up everything. I thought everything would be okay if I didn't pay attention to her. However, she doesn't give up easily. After I declined, she approached Luke with a scheme to fabricate that phony picture. All eyes were on Evelyn as the room grew quiet. Her face flushed with a mix of frustration and self-consciousness. That's absolutely ridiculous. How could you possibly accuse me of that? Luke confidently stepped forward, raising his hands. I was given a large sum of money to create this photo. I found it peculiar, but Evelyn managed to persuade me that it was for a worthy purpose. I'm sorry, I didn't realize the full extent of her plan. I couldn't help but feel a surge of emotion as the magnitude of the betrayal hit me. Jason approached me, his eyes reflecting a sense of remorse. I genuinely had no clue, I promise. I inhaled deeply, attempting to calm myself. Evelyn, you wanted to ruin my happiness for your own benefit. However, you did not succeed. Love and trust are stronger than your deceit. After hearing those words, I shifted my attention back to Jason. I believe you, I whispered gently. And I trust Sarah. We shouldn't allow her to spoil our day. Jason nodded, his eyes filled with a sense of relief and affection. The guests, now fully aware of the reality, burst into enthusiastic applause and cheers. Evelyn was escorted out, her scheme uncovered and her reputation ruined. As we exchanged our vows, the words, I do got, carried a profound significance that resonated deeply within me. Our love had faced challenges, but we had come out even stronger. The wedding carried on with an abundance of joy and celebration, serving as a beautiful reminder of the incredible strength found in love and trust. As we danced the night away, I couldn't help but steal a glance at Sarah, who graced me with a comforting smile. She had been there for me during the most crucial moments, and I was certain that our relationship was unbreakable. It was quite a day, filled with unexpected twists and turns, but it revealed the incredible power of the relationships that truly mattered.